I'm Tyree. I'm a junior at Cabrini University, and I run cross country. Uh, my name is Sarah Beckner. I'm a senior, and I play softball. Uh, I'm Sean. I am a transfer freshman. It's my first year going back to college after two years of dropping out, and I am on the swim team. My name is Sabrina Hackendorn. I'm a senior, and I play basketball. The uh, definition of body image is not only the like mental image of yourself, however, it is the way that you feel about your weight, about your height, about your race or your ethnicity. It's basically a mental state, whether positive or negative or neutral, about um, who you are and what you look like in pictures, in the mirror. Body image and negative body image is very prominent in athletes. Um, many athletes suffer from low self-esteem because their bodies are micromanaged. Uh, their bodies literally do a job. They want to make sure that their bodies not only look like society's standards, but are proficient in the sport that they are playing. Cross country is a really, really revealing sport. We wear tank tops and short shorts, so they don't leave much to the imagination. There's a wide range of people that run cross country. Uh, a lot of the elite runners, they're tall, thin, uh, which you know wouldn't be really common for any other sport, but for cross country, you know, you're running long distances. You don't want to have too much fat on your body or too much weight because you can run faster and you can uh, have more energy. Uh, it definitely makes me work a little harder. I want to be the best at whatever I do. If I have to eat healthy or drink more water every day, you know, I'll definitely do that to make my body look and uh, perform the way I want it to. I don't know. I like to think of it as if you feel comfortable in like the way that you are, I know like especially with sports, you want to be in the best possible shape that you're in. I've definitely gotten those like weird stares, I guess because I'm an in-shape athlete. Like I've always had the broader shoulders and I like to wear boys clothing when I was little and I guess that kind of translated into my college years a little bit too and I think that's just because I'm an athlete. But it's definitely taken an adjustment to understand that like people aren't really judging me, they're just a little confused and it's just being okay with like what you look like and understanding that People are going to think what people are going to think, and you just kind of got to go and live your life no matter what. It comes into play a lot um, because there's a certain way athletes are supposed to look to be considered fit, and then there's a certain way that women are supposed to look in general, um, which, you know, isn't really big shoulders and big quads and stuff like that, which I have. And I would dress a certain way because I was always coming from sports and stuff, wearing sweats and t-shirts. and. Um, it was, it was kind of hard growing up and seeing like what a girl is supposed to look like to be pretty and then, you know, and I look like an athlete and then seeing that to be athletic, you have to be entirely muscle and I was on the heavier side growing up. It, you know, it can get to you a little bit. Everyone thinks of the Michael Phelps look, the wide shoulders, the small waist, the abs, the rip. Me, not so much only because I'm not ripped, but I'm also not, not ripped. I think I got the little I got the pudge. I would say it's motivated me to try to work harder to get to that idea of what a swimmer should look like, only because, in all honesty, it helps with swimming with more muscle. You, get, you can carry yourself further. They are more at risk or more prone to negative body image. Um, so I feel as though the more education and the more mental work that is done within athletes and within athletics in general could absolutely help them out and help them perform better mentally as well and just be more mentally healthy.